Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria from BahadiLife.com and Bahati Life Apothecary. If you don't know, welcome. We are gonna be focusing on love and intimate relationships here for the most part. However, if you're called to watch this and there you have a relationship, whether it's platonic or family or whatever the case is, that is on your heart and on your mind, definitely feel free to follow through with honoring those feelings and that vibe. But this video was requested. It was specifically requested by a few of you guys. You voted and said that you would love to see a love and romance reading on my channel. And the timing of it is so superb, if you ask me, because we are just entering out of the Gemini solar eclipse. And right in front of us, as you can see, is one of the Gemini intentional oils that I created, not only for myself, but also for my clients. They are currently sold out. You guys know that they're custom. I do them every new and full moon, especially during the eclipse times. They were completely sold out almost immediately. But for those of you guys that don't know, Gemini does connect to the energy of your twin, your other half. Um, twin flames, soulmates, etc. And also Gemini is connected to the lover's card. It's our ability to choose, um, our ability to be curious, to seek, to ask questions. Okay, who is our partner? Where, you know, what is this love? What, how can we explore each other? And, you know, to find your other half or to begin to seek them and to attract them and to manifest them into our lives. So that's something that's really beautiful. And then also here on my right side, the masculine side, we have a healing waters candle. This one is also fixed from the apothecary, from my apothecary. Yes, I know that a lot of you guys typically are gravitating towards red or pink candles when it comes to love and romance questions and readings. However, I always follow my vibes. I'm working with spirit today. And because of the vibration of this reading that I can already feel, because of the vibration of the astrological tra transit that we're currently in, I was guided to, to the Healing Waters um, White Fix Candle, you know, just to start with that while we are working our intentions and while we are receiving messages. I do have two figurine candles. Sometimes I have these available in my shop, bahadilife.com slash shop. Um, however, these two are not fixed. They don't have any specific intentions on them. I just look at each figurine. There's feminine energy and masculine energy here, but they are not contained or confined to any one gender or anything like that. So it's just pretty much how spirit's gonna speak to me. As I look at the figurines, I will receive more messages and that I will be able to give over to you. Any cards that I'm using, again, will be linked down below in the description box. And I did channel a message this morning that was really interestingly connected and aligned with today's reading, which I didn't even know that we were gonna be doing, but Spirit kind of pulled me from my relaxing moment <laughs> in order for us to do this reading. So I'm sure we're gonna have something pretty powerful within here. So the card, options and piles that you can choose from this is pile number one is the quartz crystal and something about this i just felt was um so interesting so again messages are already coming through i heard flip-flop i heard crisscross and it's the opposite of what it is that you're expecting i don't know why those words are coming through but that's what's coming through for pile number one pile number two is this rose quartz and for some reason i'm hearing the word cherry I'm also seeing um, fruit with this. I'm not sure what that is connected to, but I'm sure it's confirmation for someone. And then Dalmatian quartz, I believe is what this one is called. I heard the, oh my goodness, I heard the word surrender and silence. Surrender and silence. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I will go ahead and close the intro off and I will meet you at your timestamp. Okay, honeys, so if you chose the quartz crystal, remember we heard flip-flop, crisscross, and the opposite of what it was that you're expecting. So first and foremost, I am truly getting a vibe of agitation. Um, okay, maybe it's not agitation, it's like high energy, excitability. This feels very immature, <laughs> but that's not bad. It doesn't mean, when I say immature, I'm not saying that it is a um, younger person or emotionally immature person, because it could be an emotionally mature person or an older person who's just 
excited about something in their life right now. Look at this. Look at this. The shepherd indicates an intense love of life and strong fellow feeling. So again, it's this, this desire, this ambition, this enthusiasm this optimism into what can come into your life into what can occur into what can happen i'm also getting you know the dawn of a new day is what it is that i'm hearing um now i'm being reminded of the sun it, okay wow the sun always like and of course we have the sun here but it, i'm hearing the sun always sets like the sun always sets in a way that's predictable the sun always um, rises in a way that's predictable. It's what it is that we can expect. However, do you remember when I started this reading? I heard crisscross flip-flop. It's it's the opposite of what it is that you're expecting. So uh, your experiences might have been pretty um, circular, meaning that they kind of if you've had some pretty awful experiences in your love life or if you have gone through a tumultuous energy within your love life, I just don't feel like that's going to continue to carry on. If you have had a drought in your life, love life, there is something that's new on the horizon. You're actually saying goodbye to the old ways, to the drought, to what has passed, what is passing, what is passed on. We have the Ten of Cups here, my loves. That is the card of happily ever after, even though this card is the number seven. But those numbers, five, five, six, seven, yeah, you have the seven right here too as well. This is very divine energy and spirit is telling you right now that yes there are certain things that come in cycle forms there are certain things that it is that you can expect but also keep in mind that i am looking out for you and i want the best for you and i will insert a miracle into your life and i will reroute you depending on where you need to go depending on what your prayers have been depending on divine timing all of those things are taking into factors and consideration Wow, my loves, this is something that's very new. This is a woman or a feminine energy, the aspects within yourself. So if it's a feminine energy, if you're feminine or you're dealing with feminine energy, like a girl or someone who comes across feminine in, in some form, they've been dealing with depression, darkness, isolation. However, this could be the aspects within yourself, the, the feminine form that's felt very imprisoned, the shadow side, the aspects within yourself that have been needing healing, that have been needing address, like to, that have been needing to be addressed. And spirit has actually pulled you away from the public or pulled you away from different levels of intimacy and connection so that you could actually focus on the, you know, the, the, the sides of yourself that are a little bit more darker that you might not have, ex, um, been so excited to explore <laughs> or see. <laughs> I just heard the word repressed. Meanwhile, there's something so very new and promising and solid and you know connected to longevity here that is there to n n um, nurture, nourish, support you, feed you. It's there for you to indulge in. It's there for you to get excited about it, like truly get excited about it. Part of you, literally, I was just about to say, what's the blockage here? Why aren't they allowing themselves? Because I've been here before. I've I've hoped for the best. I've wanted more for myself. I've set a higher standard and then I just, when I did that, it all came crumbling down. It all came crashing down. I was met with a blockage. I asked for more for myself and that person, that thing or the circumstance literally gave me, they, they dissipated. They disappeared or I wanted to do more for myself and I I dropped the ball or I created an there was an obstacle there was a challenge and now it's like one step forward you know two steps back and that two steps back is enough to disappoint me so now I'm taking ten steps back and you just don't want it's kind of reminding me of that metaphor that they say I just heard I'm in a cage if okay so spirit is saying I've been in a cage like it's you've really been feeling like you're in a cage I try I try I try and like it just feel like nothing works out I just feel so much in a cage the thing is you guys it's like turn around <laughs> spirit is so funny how they speak sometimes spirit says turn around then you turn around and you sheepishly look at the fact that the cage door in the back is open and that it was just a matter of where it was that you were staring at the direction that it was that you were staring at and spirit is saying listen i if you would have listened to me if you would have heeded my guidance and listened to my insight and 
took that time out that you were avoiding, that would have given you greater depth and clarity into what my voice sounds like and how I was going, how I'm speaking into you. And you wouldn't have been stuck in the situation for so long. You weren't being punished. You just wouldn't allow yourself to trust, you know? Okay, and then we have the Sun card here. This Sun card has always been a double-edged sword. It can be the biggest blessing in your life or it can really burn you up. Ask my plants right now, you guys. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I manifested my home. It's been absolutely amazing and beautiful. However, my plants are struggling. Why? Because they went from having part, part, um, part sun throughout the day during the not so hot parts of the season into full sun during the hottest part of the season and they are doing their best to survive but they're just getting burnt up and crisped up and that's truly what it's been like for you I'm seeing masculine energy has been really having a very fun time <laughs> now this could be actually masculine energy that you that you are or masculine energy within yourself, but it's the side of you that is active, aggressive, or what you're attracted to that just didn't want to settle. It was so interested in distractions and having a good time and the pleasure, the pleasure, the physical pleasure. Um, it didn't want to settle down. It didn't want to commit. It wants to, it's overindulging. It understands that, you know, maybe 10 years down the line, it's not going to say that what they were doing or what you were doing was unhealthy. It was kind of like what you needed to do at that time. But there's this side of side of the masculine, whatever, whoever that is, that's kind of been burning, just burning things around them just by the heat of their own ego, <laughs> by the heat of their own pleasure, by the heat of their own excitement, by the heat of their own enthusiasm. And it's really hard to keep up with that. It's almost like, can you settle down? But a lot of patience, I'm getting the word patience was required. Strength, a lot of strength of that patience. A lot of, I just heard virtuous, like someone who is really, really virtuous and someone who has a high value and wants, really again, wants more, but it also expects more and has kind of tolerated, I'm hearing you've tolerated a lot, a lot. And I feel like that has to do a lot with selfishness. And that's why, wow, full circle, full circle. That's why you have actually attracted into your life um, relationships that have, or aspects within yourself that have needed to be very selfish. Um, so if you are attracted to relationships where, like a relationship that has been selfish, it's because you yourself need to learn how to be more selfish. You need to be more self-serving. And you've almost been like, oh, that's gluttonous of me, that's selfish of me. I'll, all I know and all I've been told is to give and to be generous and to you know, think of other people's feelings. But like, when are you gonna think about your own feelings? When are you gonna think about your own needs? And that's why spirit puts you in a space where you are completely isolated. Um, you felt in prison because you wanted so badly to give into your next relationship or take this relationship. It's been breaking a lot of things, my loves. This is the card of broken mirrors. A lot of things shattered. The more that you tried to give of yourself or, t or carry a relationship where you wanted it, where you desired it to be, and that's again why, because there's aspects within your feminine, aspects within the shadow, the, the, the feminine form that needed to receive um, replenishment because the idea of being selfish or the concept of being selfish was something that they would not allow themselves to accept so they start finding different ways to distract themselves or finding masculine energy to pour into meanwhile masculine energy is doing whatever the hell it wants and I'm saying masculine energy my loves but masculine energy is not just a male figure that you might be attracted to that you might be manifesting it is also the masculine energy. So this is your work, it's your ambitions, it's the things that you're pursuing. Um, and it's just, it can be really, really le reckless. It can be really heated and meanwhile, it turns into a cat and mouse chase. The other thing that I'm hearing, my love, is how, Jesus, I was just about to say this with this fox. You have, hear me when I say this, I'm so sorry, do not, I'm not trying to offend anyone, I'm just, I'm just the messenger right now but manipulation. Feminine energy, when it becomes toxic, it uses attraction and enticement and magnetism in order to try and pull to get what it is that it wants. And sometimes that means sex, and sometimes that means intimacy. And I'm getting eighth house matters here. I'm getting the eighth house. The eighth house 
is um, our our um, issues with control and manipulation in ways that can be constructive and destructive. And I'm seeing, okay, you know, that's another reason why feminine energy had to be, look my loves, we have the snake here. I'm just, I just pull the cards apart. This is just what I always do. And the number eight, I'm not even kidding. I'm not making this up. But that's another reason why feminine energy needed to be put on hold, to be locked up, to be put, you know, guarded to be in a stalemate, why? Because she, feminine form, needed to address and heal the aspects of herself that cannot pour into herself or refuse to give to herself and just wants to continue to distract and to pour into others instead of the self. The other thing that is that I'm seeing and feeling, wow, is this um, uh, be what it is that you wish to attract. Oh, goodness, I had to breathe with that one. Be what it is that you wish to attract. This means that, now I just heard Jess, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, I'm just the messenger, my loves. I'm giving you a hug, I promise you. Be what it is that you wish to attract. That means that if you want a loving partner, be loving to yourself. If you want a generous partner, be generous with yourself. If you want nice things, give yourself nice things, invest in that. If you want to have a partner that goes, um, kayaking or skydiving my scalp is tingling by the way so if you want a person who is high vibrational who is in tune then develop those aspects within yourself develop those gifts and be that you already are it you just are looking for you know someone to share it with but come on you got this do this you know what I mean um, yeah I keep hearing I'm not allowed I'm not allowed that's not what I should be doing and it's that's literally the very thing that you're supposed to be doing um, we have the mouse here and we have the ship and I don't know why but now I want to go ahead and look into your oracle it's the opposite of what it is that you're expecting okay so from the messages from your animal spirit guides we have chameleon oh wow oh oh wow The feminine energy has been sacrificing. Oh my God, this goes so deep. Oh, I just felt felt like the ground just fell underneath me. Wow, the feminine energy, the feminine energy within yourself or feminine energy period has wanted so long to have direction. And she, or the feminine energy within yourself is scared to, is looking for people to, to help guide her or looking for people to help guide that, that feminine force, that feminine energy, but you end up following and finding and, en and engaging in aspects within your partner or aspects within love or aspects within yourself that create illness because you are not allowing yourself. And then on top of that, it's like you you are kind of taking on the identity of what they want, what they like, where they want to go, what their vision is, and the selfishness that you need to have right now. And this goes from this goes into a space that is so deep. It goes into a space that's so deep. Of course, you guys, you always know, you know, I always have to take it there but it goes into a space of some things that have been plaguing you, memories that have been plaguing you of things where it's like, are you allowed to be yourself? Are you allowed to ask for help? Are people always doing it for you? Do you expect someone to come and save you? Are you are are you open to being intimate with like emotionally and physically and emotionally and well, I already said them all. Emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, intimate with it and phys I already said that, I'm sorry, so sorry guys. With another human being because I'm also seeing there's a need, I just heard the word compen compensate. You might be pouring into certain aspects of your relationship or pouring into aspects of your life or pouring into aspects of the, your dating, like who it is that you're attracted to and keep feeding this part 
while trying to avoid this part over here that is a plague. And that's where that starts to get chameleon-like. That's where it starts to shift and change. And when the other partner starts to see and sense that you are not how you represented because the intimacy, the more intimate they want, because on a soul level, people do want intimacy. So when they start to get closer to you and connected to you, and you start get, that starts to, you know, get watercolory and it's not clear and it, you haven't, you know, you feel, and then you start to get triggered or you start to get attacked or you start to get wounded or you start to pull away or you start to glatch on because we all have our different, you know, ways of coping. Then that's when this, did this connection starts to waver or that's when the relationship falls apart or that's when you have to start over or that's when there's abandonment issues. And the thing it has to come back into, what do you want? The same thing that you are kind of avoiding seeing, I just opened it back up to the mouse again. <laughs> the same thing that you're avoiding seeing is the same thing that you're going to pull your strength from and empower yourself. And that is selfishness. What just fell? Oh my goodness. Um, a rose quartz. Selfishness, self-love, and deeper connection and intimacy. And as I said that, my candle started to quiet down. What do we have here? Cheetah, get, wow, get clear on your intention. Stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. You'd be surprised, my love, how when you put yourself first and you disconnect from the other, when you stop trying to pour into other people, you will go, you will be surprised who you attract, but it's not even about that. It's also about like where you'll go, who you will meet. Panda, create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. I believe it. You glow, we, look my loves, I couldn't make this up. You glow, we beam. If you're taking care of yourself, we both benefit from this, we both. And I'm seeing for you guys with the panda bear um, and the cheetah here and the chameleon, this is about the opposites. This is about something totally different. This is about strength, like using, learning how to work with these opposites within yourself to balance them, the feminine and the masculine. It's got to be balanced. And this is not just in your, like actual physical representations of your relationships, meaning like a man loving a woman or a woman loving a man or a woman loving a woman or a man loving a man or whatever. It's not even about that. It's the energy of that. Masculine needs to pursue, it needs to have purpose, it needs to have desire, and feminine needs to be desired, it needs to, um, you know, feel nourished and supported, it also needs to give and to receive and to have confirmation, and it needs to have quiet time, it needs to be, you know, protected, and masculine energy needs to protect, but things need to be balanced here. The cheetah, it's the polka dots are really standing out to me because it's these const contracting, um, con constrict, uh, constrict, contrasting. I'm so sorry, guys. I've been butchering words since Mercury retrograde. Um, I forgot it again. Con frick, I lost it. Mercury retrograde. These competing colors, these competing patterns, um, and the panda, black and white, and the chameleon, how it's able to merge and mold into whatever it is that it, it's like identify identify you identify your wants identify your needs that's what you need right now love is the reason it's like well i did this because i love them well you know i'm also hearing like what would love do but i also want to read this each person in your life is there for a reason and that reason always has something to do with love like me the universe I'm seeing that those who have come before, if those, if you guys are single, every person really truly was a bit of a lesson. Or if you are in a relationship right now, every circumstance that has, like every coin that's been dropped into the piggy bank of your relationship has served as a lesson. And the lesson is to help you to move into a higher space and a deeper space, believe it or not, higher and deeper space of love vibration. This means that you're giving love to yourself unconditionally and patience. You're giving yourself um, the space to heal, to be frustrated. That's another thing that's coming through. A space to have pain and hurt and aching and suffering. Um, and I just heard a space to learn how to expect love to show up again. Expect them to show up for you again. 
expect that they will find you. There's commitment, there is love, there's connection. There's intimacy, there's depth, there's communication. I heard grasping for straws, but the, what I hear with that is the ability that both people are reaching towards each other equally and that the aspects within yourself have linked arms. There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. Recognize and realize that everybody is out here trying and struggling. That doesn't mean that in our compassion and our kindness and our consideration that we become a doormat or that we roll over or that we are defensive. It just means that we recognize and we acknowledge exactly what that we're dealing with and everybody has their own intimate desires, their own intimate needs and their own intimate wounds. And, and to know that allows you to be able to share a little differently. Children, this is newness, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Are you ready for that? And pay attention to the red flags. This gives me back to balance. There's some things that have been out of balance. Family harmony. Sign from heaven. You are healed. Those are just, I don't really want to go into that too much because I feel like those are speak for themselves. But there is a strong sense here, you guys, of newness here with avarice, um, innovation and uncertainty. Some of you guys, again, it's that uncertainty turnaround. You're facing the wrong side of the cage. And also you're expecting certain, a certain something to come through. And the reality is, is that this is new. It has been innovated. It has been... Um, defeated and depleted the obstacle has been and now we are in a new space we're a new a new territory a new territory yeah oh my god it comes back full circle be excited again be excited expect the best for love you literally are saying that's so beautiful you literally are saying goodbye to the old way everything that was once broken what it gets restored oh my god the order denotes honor and recognition of labor a sure sign and this is my yes card extra joker i love you guys so much please do not be defeated please be encouraged be excited be supported be lifted you know all of this is really good all of this is really good it's a lot of um beautiful energy coming from this pile truly okay so um if you need anything candles or herbs or intention oils all those things custom or otherwise <laughs> you can go ahead and make your way right to home base <laughs> bahadilife.com where you can see me and work with me directly when it comes to all true love when it comes to all matters of the heart and things that is that you're manifesting i'm here for that okay i will see you in my next video make sure you're subscribed bye okay my loves if you chose pile number two or the rose quartz um this is your reading i knew that one wanted to come out um so for a second there, I just kind of spaced out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, and with this, I feel, maybe that's how you've been feeling lately. It's a little spaced out, a little disconnected, a little head in the clouds. At the time of me filming, Mercury is retrograde and that can be notorious for allowing our mind and our thoughts to slip, especially with, um, you know, uh, Neptune and now Jupiter is a sign of Pisces. But of course, this video is timeless. Yeah, so we have the eye here. What do we watch? And then this, this is uncovered or not, it's covered up. So what are, what have you been paying attention to? What have you been watching? Um, and speaking of Neptune, I'm also getting this, you know, things aren't clear or things need to be clearly defined or things need to, I'm very much getting a blindfolded type of vibe. And I almost kind of get the feeling that you need to be blindfolded. Children here. Interesting. Um, this is the pre-Raphaelite tarot. So interesting. I'm reminded to go back to 
the fruit. Yeah, my loves, you are you keep going into what you're focusing on. Queen of I'm sorry, King of Swords here. What what you're focusing on or what is focusing on you? King of Swords is known for his focus. He's known for what he sees and his logic and his in, intelligence and perception of things. It's clear, it's precise, it's sharp. Eight of Cups. Two of Wands is also, believe it or not, where, where are you focusing your direction on? Where are you focusing on going? Do you know? Has that been defined? Is everyone on the same wavelength? Four of Swords is not about clarity, but I, it kind of is giving me rest gives you clarity. And But Swords is connected to logic. It's about the mind. It's about intellect. Eight of Pentacles. What are we working on? Where's this going is what I just heard. Where are we going? I want this. I want to go here. This is what I'm working on. This is what I'm manifesting. This is what I desire. And I just heard a breach. Oh, jeez, you. Yeah. So Knight of Swords, again, is the truth. It's information. It's things that need to be said, things that need to be heard. And cl be clear. Tell me the truth. Where are we going? Where are we headed? What do I want? What do I see in this? Is this it? And then I'm seeing and smelling mint, spearmint. I'm scared we don't want the same things. That's what I'm hearing, especially Eight of Swords here, Broken Glass, the Mountains here, Eight of Eight of Spades, Ten of Pent, um, Ten of Clubs, Four of Cups, Eight of Clubs. So this connects me. This is my own intu intuitive feelings with this. This brings back into what are we working towards? I'm getting, um, even though it's ruled by the Snake. It's Eight of Pentacles is standing out to me first. I call this the Pentacles card, and then also Ten of Pentacles, this manifestation. Um, Eight of Wands, that's what I call this card. Eight of Swords is anxiety. Eight of Wands is speed. Four of Cups is discontent. Um, then we have Eight and Eight. Be clear with me, be precise. Seven of Wands, I can't, I'm, I'm guarded, I'm defensive. I, I kind of want a little, I want freedom. I want to, no strings attached. I want release, I want, and that doesn't mean that you're when you're in a relationship that a person doesn't want to be committed or anything like that. Look, Chariot, where am I going? Where are we going? What do I see for myself? Where Where is this headed in my work, in my love life, in my health? What do I want to take this? Where do I want to go with this? How does it make me feel? Mature, I gotta be mature. I have to have a mature conversation with myself. I have to have a mature conversation with my partner. I want a mature partner. I don't want, I'm scared though, but I don't want a partner that can't tell me the truth. I don't want a partner that is withholding from me and I'm just wasting my time. I'm a queen. <laughs> Empress energy. I know what I want. I know what I deserve. I'm a queen. I'm a king. I know what I want. And it just feels like it's obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. All these new obstacles keep coming through and honestly, it feels like where are we going? <laughs> like that's the crazy thing. Like what do I want for breakfast? What do I want? I want to know where we're going. Where do I want to go out for dinner? I want to know where we're going. Not to dinner, where is this relationship headed? That's where I'm at. Where are you going? Where, where do you see yourself with your career? This is a conversation that we need to have. Like, I'm just getting this vibe. I'm getting really frustrated, actually, and irritated. It's like sitting down, like you keep, I'm hearing, I keep hearing the word noise, like actual, the word noise. You, you're, you're distracting yourself with all these Things are like, oh yeah, I gotta go here, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. You know what you're not doing? You're not focusing on what's right in front of you because you don't want to address it because why? You're literally blindfolding yourself. You're doing all of these things out of order. Like you literally are doing all of these things out of order and it's creating chaos and why? And if this is, if this is you guys, 
if this message is directly to you, Spirit is saying, listen, come on. And if this is you saying this to someone else, this is you saying, come on. I'm getting a person, to be honest with you, King of Swords, King of Cups, they want to do things the right way. Um, I just feel like they've had experiences in the past where they have had things not work out. They see a person of value. They see a person that they're desiring. They see something that can really come from it, and they're trying to make a judgment call. Two of then that's why it's locked up. That's why it's not going any further because they, and it's almost like, I don't say manipulating, but it's almost like, you think, I feel like they kind of know what they're doing or you know what you're doing by finding all of these absences or all of these stuff. And it's like a part of you just kind of needs to face the music and, and kind of call a spade a spade and make a decision. I mean, if you have to, with Mercury's retrograde currently at the time of me filming this. But also, I started off this video saying like, or started off your message saying that if I feel cloudy, like you've actually distracted me from focusing on what it is that I wanted to give to you, you know, and whether it's you or whether it's your partner, either way, oh my God. And look, you have eight, eight, eight. Why didn't I see that before? And then eight, and then eight. You have all of the eights, come on, come on. Make a decision. And if you don't know what you want, tower card, I can't. I'm just, I can't, I'm hearing this word like I can't. It's two, eight of swords, was waiting for it. There it is. I am i can't, I feel like I can't. You, it's someone is telling you literally show up or get the heck out. Nine of cups, I know what I want. I also think you'd be surprised. No matter which way you go, you're going to get what you want. But also ask yourself, what do you want? Like, what do you want? That's a serious conversation you need to ask or at least start begin to explore for yourself. And that's the thing is that if you're in something right now, whether it's you're single or in a relationship or in a marriage or whatever the case is, any time that something within that aspect of that kind of dies out, it already comes back around in another form and something new is being born. And either way, it's going to lead you to the Nine of Cups. So trust and have faith, my love. Trust and have faith. But staying in this space of pending you know, re like recalibration. Oh yeah, no, we can talk, we can have a talk, but just like, let's, let's just focus on the after dinner, after, after dinner occurs, right? Okay, yeah, and we just ate and I'm just so tired. Like, let's just go to bed and then I'll talk to you in the morning. Morning time comes on. I'm late for work, my alarm was late. We'll talk to you when I get home. I'm sorry, I had the worst day at work and I just can't talk about it right now. Like, really? Do we have to have this conversation right now? I'm so, like, come on, I got all this stuff going on. I'll show up for you, I'll show up for you. This will happen, this will happen. When? 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 And the reality is, is that you are avoiding four of tentacles that's not fucking changing. Pardon my French, you guys, but sometimes I get so invested in these relationships or these readings. And I'm just starting to see a little clearing here. Something needs to get cleaned out. Something needs to get cleared out. This person or this thing is not moving. It's not changing. It's not shifting. And that's exactly what spirit wants. And this is aspects within yourself. Would you make a decision, please? Go big or go home. And I, I do think that it comes from a place of I just don't want to mess it up like I don't want to do the wrong thing but it's self-defeating you're only hurting yourself five of swords and queen of cups you're only hurting yourself and you're only hurting the queen of cups or you're hurting the emotional side of you that wants to actually be fulfilled and wants to be poured into even more oh my god look ten of pentacles and the empress card and I feel like there might be another one in there maybe not Ten of Pentacles and the Empress card. You're so worthy of the world. There's so much that can happen. And I don't know why, but the bowl of fruit came through or cherries or something came through with this. And I just feel like, I don't know what it is. I still don't know why. Wow. So you got from the messages from your angel spirit guides. You have the owl here. The owl sees all and it's wise as hell. 
it is it says pay attention pay close attention to signs and omens 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 guidance whatever so the thing is is that you you have seen all you literally all that it is is all that you have seen and all that you have seen is all that it is <laughs> having said that is it enough and are there aspects that you are not allowing yourself to see or are you allowing yourself to be caught in the, like you know this fog because you don't want to see something and also keep in mind that once you see it and once you decide it literally will manifest even if you're exiting out of something or saying goodbye to a certain aspect of your relationship or yourself or this mindset you will enter into something of greater abundance and does that actually freak you out does that actually freak you out are you 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 may want like all of Wow, take the time, the gorilla. I'm sorry, guys, I got lost in that for a minute. Once again, let's see if it'll focus. Look at the strength in the gorilla. He or she knows what they want, but this is a silverback, so this is masculine energy. When it knows what it wants, it will defend it to the, to the, to the end. I watched a video about a month ago of a man getting dragged by a gorilla in the woods, and he was scared. I shit my pants for him <laughs> watching that video. But the point of the message is, is that take the time to listen compassionately to those that you love, especially your family members. So ask them and ask yourself, what do you want? Where are you going? Where are we headed? And listen to it. Trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. This means that regardless of what you hear, regardless of what approaches you, regardless of what happens, you are going to get through this into something far, look, the unicorn. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Convince yourself, not others. That literally says everything. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways, says the card. Flirt. It's like dancing around it. New love. Say less engagement but this card says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment why when you stop flirting around it and address it balance work rest and play also um but i see balance in relationship uplift your thoughts sacral sacral and then also we have the priestess here sit with yourself the prodigy receive the message and regeneration, be restored, come back new, come back fresh. Wow, I love that message, you guys. That was short, sweet, and to the point, but it was everything that I feel like you needed. I'm sending you guys all my love. If you need anything um, from me, you can find it within uh, the website bahadilife.com or within the apothecary bahadilife.com slash shop. There I have my candles, there I have herbs, there I have my oils, all the things that you need in order to manifest your desires. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Hello, my loves. For those of you guys that chose the Dalmatian Quartz, this is your reading. Please excuse the perspective shift. My camera died and all of the batteries went with it. Okay, there's a lot of children energy that keeps coming up. And I want to see what this is about. Children. Mm. Sorry guys, let me just connect for a second. So first things first, one of the things that stood out to me, this, this pile feels a little bit heavier right now, but one of the things that first stood out to me is the message of surrender, the message of surrendering. 
And with that message, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me see if I can. I am filming from my MacBook now, so it's going to be a little uh, awkward, but I'm sure you guys will be fine. But with the message of surrender, my loves, I mean, there seems to be, from what I can tell, something that came in and disrupted the love life and or this connection. And clearly, I can see that because we have lightning bolt, the lightning bolt striking, and then we have the broken glass. Lightning is always something typically right out of the blue. So I feel like it's something that you weren't expecting, you didn't see coming. And when you when it happened, it literally how there the question is like how do we put this back together? Like how do I pick up the pieces? Or this doesn't necessarily have to be within the relationship. It could be around the relationship or around you. Just some cer certain circumstances that disrupted the status quo and or your peace or the foundation. And I am being called to think about Uranus square Saturn right now, this transit that is so tight and so disruptive and really does up, uproot even the strongest bond, even the strongest love. And with the card of children, there's this desire to still have a, a friendly face. There's this, there's this desire to still be um, play. I just heard urgent. I don't know why, but there's this desire to kind of come through and race forward to kind of protect the relationship or to protect the person or they want to protect you or you want to protect them or whatever the case is. And the thing is, is that I just imagine like a child seeing like, um, seeing glass breaking it's kind of it that can be really scary or seeing lightning strike something you're gonna have a fear wow the death card you're gonna have a fear of lightning moving forward and then you're gonna have a fear of glass now glass itself or the mirror is not dangerous but it's the it's the memory of what happened when something struck the glass and the glass broke and it shattered and you might have cut yourself or there was danger or this situation was scary and that's what you remember and i'm seeing this space of emotion six of swords and the death card here i'll look at the rest of the cards in a minute but six of swords and the death card here it's these depth the depth of the emotion the depth of the damage did the the how do we repair this how do we fix it do we want to fix it can i fix it is it fixable and then i'm seeing the 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 the, the desire to fix anything or the desire to um pick up the pieces would have to come from a space of of tremendous love um, I'm getting the sense that, you know, you know, love sometimes is, it's, it's simple, but it can, it can sometimes be complicated in certain relationships and certain dynamics and with timing and with human beings. That's when things can get complicated. Do we have the tools and the resources within us? and around us to support us. There was a little bit of chit chitter chatter here that I'm feeling and sensing of, I'm not leaving. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not leaving. I'm still here. I'm still present. There's this, there's this feeling of still wanting to protect the relationship. And I just heard like guide the relationship forward um, from a space of really tremendous love. You know and the desire to really try and want to make it work and I don't know what you guys have gone through clearly something has happened with the mirror and the lightning bolt um, I feel like a lot of I'm I am really getting a sense that there's a lot of people that are in the mix there's a lot of opinions that are stewing even if these are private people it's public somehow so um, there's a lot of opinions there's a lot of information um, a lot of 
like chitter chatter, a lot of noise, a lot of gossip. It, I don't even think that it's intentional, but a lot of people know about what could have happened here or what might have happened. Um, this could be, it, and it just seems so like, damn, you know what I mean? Like that's the vibe that I'm getting like, oh, we did not see that coming. I'm also getting, it's so interesting because I just heard the word perspective. I'm seeing how some people actually take, or sometimes you're guided, um, spirit kind of guides us to take the pieces of how our life or how a, a situation or a circumstance kind of breaks apart and shatters and carefully see it from a different lens. It's almost like breaking the glass and then instead of seeing it as, okay, the, the mirror is shattered, now it's like, you, and now we have to throw it away, you can actually make a mosaic with this now. You can make art with this now. And you're guided right now to make art from what was broken as best as you can. And if this is something that has been painful and like hard on the heart, because there's a lot of love here, you guys. Let's say this is um, let's say this is not as serious as something awful that happened in your life that is impacting your relationship or something awful that happened within the relationship. It could just be like things that is that you're planning, things that is that you want to do, and it's like these things keep happening that like are just so disappointing. And I I'm, I keep hearing the word making a mountain out of a molehill. Um, but like anything that's bothering you is significant. Anything that is frustrating is a frustration and that's real rap wrong. Like that's what you're dealing with. That's real. And I just feel like instead of focusing on the brokenness of the mirror, focus on what you're going to create from the broken pieces, AKA a mosaic. So there's this taking it. Oh, that makes a lot of sense with the whole surrender thing. It's like surrendering what you thought it was going to be and what you thought it should look like and accept what it is and use what it is to create something new, prolific and beautiful. I also am getting a strong sense that all is not lost here. All has not been abandoned. In fact, there's a lot, there's so much blessing still within here. Clearly, there's a lot of love here. Clearly, there's a lot of like longing and intimacy and this, the feelings maybe of abandonment, like I have to leave this or I have to move away from this. It's like, it's not going anywhere. It's just finding a new form. And as I'm saying that, I'm hearing the candle crackle, which is really clearly telling me that again, it's what there's people chitter chattering. I don't necessarily think that it's negative what they're saying. I, or detrimental to the relationship or de detrimental to your love life. It's more messages of concern or it's group setting trying to fix an, a private problem. <laughs> All right, let me just see. But I honestly, guys, the depth of the emotion is so, it's profound. It's really, really deep here. I never ever, I shuffled tarot since I was a little girl. And I never thought about the depth of the water that might be in the death card or in the six of swords. But I am really called to, for the first time in my life, think about how deep this may go how deep the feelings are. I'm not even concerned or called to ask, okay, what's below the surface? I'm not even called to ask you to trust, to trust it. It's, it's, um, it's reverence is the word that's coming through and an honor for the fact that the feelings just go so deep. And knowing that says a lot. It says more than where we're going. It says more than where we've been. It says more than where we're at. It says that the feelings go so deep. And 
regardless of what your love life is looking like or what's happening within the love life, clearly you're being called right now into transformation and transition, especially with Six of Swords and the Death card. Death card is about relinquishing and letting go um, and not trying to preserve it so much, so much because that would become toxic. It's about kind of it moving into its next form and, and that's not something that's final. Hanged man. So I do get a sense of, it's so interesting. It would really creep me out. I'm not gonna lie to you. I get like chills thinking about death sitting in limbo I feel like to do that would be so unhealthy in fact hangman comes before the death card but the death card came before the hangman in the situation the hangman is number 12 and death is 13 but in this case they came up in different sequence of events and it's like I'm seeing like, and the reason why I feel like it's opposite is because y you would almost, if you're stuck in a limbo state too much, death sometimes would be welcomed. Like the death of, you know, this, this trauma, the, like this event, the, the ending of it is actually welcomed. And then as painful as it is, you're almost looking forward to moving forward. However, Death came before the hangman, and it shows me that something has already started to transition in, and now we are left to incredible, actually, now that I think about it, surrender, because that's literally what the stone spoke. And I, you guys saw me shuffle. I, I, I shuffle the cards. And the innocence... The innocence that I feel and that I get from just allowing it to hang here, that says a lot too. Because that says it's not easy for me to let this go. It's not easy for me to transition from this. It's not easy for me to move forward. In fact, I felt the depth of this so profoundly, I still am lingering in it after after it's passed. After after it's transitioned, after it's, and that is in fact a little component to you moving forward by knowing and honoring and reverence, man, that's sitting in awe at the depth of how deep human emotion can go, regardless of how much time is spent together, how much energy was put in, or how logical it does or doesn't make sense. The depth of human emotion alone says everything. And the fact that you feel it, the fact that you felt it, is the whole story. Wow. I just heard the word um, in 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 uh, in cas in cap oh, frick incapacitated incapacitated. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's an inability to act. It's an inability to perform. It's an inability to rise and meet the standard. I'm working on it, is what I just heard. I'm working on it. You changed me. You didn't just change one aspect of me. You changed every aspect of me. And, I'm, and because of that, I'm working on it. Because of that, I hear differently. Because of that, I listen differently. Because of that, I feel differently. Because of that, I do differently, and I'm working on it. It's not that I'm not interested. It's not that I don't want this to work. It's not that I'm not invested. I am. I'm just working on it. And with that, a person becomes empowered, and a person becomes informed. They become powerful, and they get to decide what they do with that. I'm seeing with the death card and also the six of cups, the, the, if there's a reconciliation type of energy here, there's a strong chance that that is going to happen. I just think that there's a lot of fear and timing is everything and it's overwhelming is the energy that of what I'm getting.
anything else is little chitter chatter. Yeah, something needs to be surrendered here. I'm literally, truly. Something needs to be let go here. We have this sky, they're this ghee, I can never say that correctly, sky, I think. Dog, loyalty, and also the coffin. So these two cards talk about abrupt endings. The blade and the coffin. They talk about, always, they talk about abrupt endings. Meanwhile, the dog kind of sits and lingers with his loyalty. Regardless of what is ending or re regardless of what didn't happen or regardless of what we wanted it to look like, regardless of what we wanted to occur, it's not a representation of someone's true feelings for you, their loyalty, or, and what can happen, what will happen, what is up. In fact, sometimes good things do happen. I'm sorry. Wow, I guess that was meant to... Something, sometimes good things are meant to happen to bad people. And sometimes bad things happen to good people. And sometimes good things happen to good people. And sometimes bad things happen to bad people. I think um, I just saw with this wandering eye. Wandering eye. I just want to go... I just want to see slowly. Yeah, putting out a few little offerings here. Um... Nothing, I literally was just about to say, nothing comes to comparison. Your heart is in my safe. That, Like, literally, I could go all over the world, and I don't know if I would be able to find something or someone like you. Never mind, I'll find that Adele song. <laughs> someone, it's like, yeah, no, I don't believe that. The heart is in a safe. It's literally kept guarded and protected. In fact, um, when you see a very guarded, distant person, or when you see aspects within yourself, it's because literally that heart is pulled away. And I keep seeing, seeing the ring. Where did I see it just now? I just saw it in the camera reflecting back, but... Um, this person or this relationship or this circumstance around love holds you in such a high level of honor and like respect, but still that doesn't make it any easier. But at least you know, so I guess there's an ending here in this relationship. I don't know, guys. You have to tell me what's going on here. And all you have to see is say is pile number three. Yes, Jess, it resonates. Because I just kind of feel emotionally crippled here. Anything that is burned, burnt, like it's all of the bad, all of the ill, all of the evil is truly getting burnt away. And I can see a, a turn of bad luck. That's not something that I always say, you guys. I don't typically talk about bad luck because I think everything happens for a reason, but sometimes I think that people get caught up in the movement of the universe and relationships get caught up in the, the movement of the universe and they sometimes toes get crushed and things happen. I'm gonna put this away. Um, also, Spirit says, yes, whatever it is that you've been worrying about and struggling about, that there's an answer of, you know, strong yes. Empress card. I don't, I'm seeing, don't go looking, don't go looking, don't go looking for trouble, don't go looking for answers, don't go looking for, you know, confirmation, don't go looking for new, new, sit, be still. <laughs> In fact, surrender right now, just, it's just stop. Whatever that means for you, just just stop. Rest. Um, I don't feel like... This is a very emotionally d d uh, um, dense pile. Um, and not because in, it's negative or bad. It's because what you're feeling right now is very, very deep. And if this is not trouble within a relationship, it could be watching someone that you love being troubled by things and you just feeling so powerless and you can't help them. Or you're going through a lot of things and your partner feels that way. Um, but it's like, either way, sometimes, remember how I said there's chitter chatter? I just feel like social media might be a little problem here. It's what people are saying and how they contribute and... I don't know why I'm hearing, but the embarrassment that might come with that Seven of Swords. Please don't post that. Please don't say that. Please don't do that. I hate to ask is what I just heard. I hate to ask. Please don't. Please.
ten of pentacles and two of cups. And I just heard you were the one. You're the one that I think about all day. Do you see though? The strength card here, the lion sleeping, and then with the two of cups, his mouth is open. When the time comes... All will be said, all will be revealed, all will be healed, all will happen. It's like an elixir, it's magic. I do feel like you guys, whatever is going on here, it's a, you're, I'm going to say this, it's like a victim of circumstance, victim of events. Um, yeah, I do see um, healing coming through here, even though you don't see it, I do. <laughs> And that's the only thing that matters during this reading is what I think and what I see. Am I right? Sorry, guys. My shirt keeps opening up. But yeah, I can see it. Also, I don't think that it's for you to fix it. Ooh, four of Pentacles. Just like literally don't do anything. I don't know if it's necessarily for you to fix it or for you to make it happen or for you to manifest it or for you to, you know, make moves. It's almost like, well, surrender. And something about that is everything that is needed. Now let's look at your oracle. You guys also got the yes card here. So if you're thinking like, if you just broke up with someone or if you're wondering if you have a soulmate or if you're wondering if you have a twin flame or if you wonder if you guys are gonna get through this or if you wonder if they're gonna come back or if you, yes. Oh, penguin. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Speak that over your life too, by the way, just to help it to pass. So surrender. Do you also know the penguin goes out in the cold? It goes out in the cold and searches for a pebble and then travels, especially the male, travels long, long distance despite, despite it all to bring one tiny pebble, pebble. Can you imagine him going that distance and dropping the pebble at the, peng, the female penguin's feet and then her being like, it's not good enough, I've already run off with <laughs> even if that's not the case i don't know why that's coming through but it's like he just look at his head is up he he needs to feel hope and so do you you need to feel hope you need to have you need to feel faith it's not about having faith you have to feel faith like you have to it's like something happened that made you stop believing don't stop believing. That's three songs I've got for you guys. <laughs> Octopus. Practice shape. See, the male just, he just dipped out. <laughs> just knocked him right off the table. Practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. This is how you are coming across. This is acknowledging how how they are acknowledging how they come across this is like you acknowledging how you come across and do you see how the penguin and the opti oct octopus are looking at each other but they're so different but they're looking at each other because they're observing each other this might also be through social media snow leopard wow take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude and this is also the Dalmatian crystal, and they look very much alike. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. I just got a question on my um, Instagram just now, someone about the shop, um, the apothecary, it's bahadilife.com slash shop for candles, oils, herbs, everything that you need to manifest. So thank you to that person who asked that. So shameless self-promotion. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. I feel like some of you guys have spent a lot of time actually in solitude. That's a part of the darkness. But I feel like there's more to that message. 
feel like that's an expectation. Chariot. Ooh. It's merging. I'm sorry, loves. The battery on my MacBook just crashed, or the MacBook itself crashed. It's so weird. But also, how very Mercury retrograde. So I don't remember exactly what it was that I was saying. I just know that your message from where I left off is the message of surrender. Now, I wanna look into your oracle cards. The first one, your treasure is at hand. Okay, sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier, but more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest with those they've already found, especially when they stop looking elsewhere. Actually, Zippier is on quite a few lists. Tally-ho, the universe. And I kind of feel like this is one of the things that is all saying, is that whatever aspect of this relationship that has died or that is passing, or if the relationship itself is passing or circumstances around the relationship are passing that contribute to this relationship, I don't see it being the end. In fact, I see it kind of folding over into some new beginning. It, the worst is truly actually behind you, especially with the penguin here. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. The worst is behind you. And now the treasure, the reward is coming into your hand or in your hand right now. I think that when people see that and when they know that and when they are given the time to sit with it and let their emotions kind of process, they will realize that whatever we have here, when we surrender all of that, we will actually gain more momentum, like momentum with our feelings, direction with it, the relationship, and wherever it is that spirit is leading you or leading us, right now if that makes any sense i hope it does okay earlier disappointments this is the darkness were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way so again this is confirmation even more it says never regret love no matter how blind it improved your vision no matter how foolish it made you wiser and no matter how generous it made you more hubba hubba the universe i love that so much in fact i'm going to post that on my instagram in just a moment Sometimes the good is hidden. And again, this is about that depth of emotion. It's about that depth. Sometimes you can't see what's at the bottom, but sometimes you don't need to go looking for it. You just, the, 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 the fact that it's deep alone says everything that is that you need to know. Find the good in what they said or asked. It's always there, even if they didn't mean for it to be there. Sherlocky yours, remember I just said, don't go looking for it. <laughs> The universe, P.S. Clues for what you want are hidden all around you. Literally, your treasure is at hand. Those you love, love you. That says all. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget that they're watching. Tally-ho, the universe. Next one. You have a lot of cards. I didn't realize how many cards were pulled here. You'll find what you seek, what you find, what you'll, f what, oh, what you're looking for because there's a lot about looking. You'll find what you seek. What you seek is going to find you is actually what I'm hearing spirits say. What you're seeking is going to find you, surrender. If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical that you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical that you will. It's up to you, the universe, and I love that. That's confirmation. Then we have, love is never in vain. It always makes a difference. It doesn't go away. It transcends time, distance, all of that. When you finally see what this whole time, space thing is all about, you're gonna laugh, you're going to cry, and you're gonna be so, 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 so happy that you loved as much as you did. Totally yours, the universe. Reconciliation. I couldn't make it up if I wanted to. Reconciliation. I knew it. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Calling in your soulmate. But I am really getting a big sense here of 
blessing your soulmate, praying for your soulmate, and not just praying for them to show up, but praying for their health, praying for their happiness, praying for their healing, praying for their their peace of mind, praying for their direction, praying just every aspect of their life. Soulmate. <laughs> Calling in your soulmate. Soulmate. Do you see how it's the treasure is at hand? It's right at your fingertips. It's right here. It's right now. It's present. I feel like anything that disrupted your flow or disrupted your status quo was actually to put you at the right place at the right time. I'm also feeling like in order for this relationship to kind of evolve or for you to connect to your soulmate deeper and to man, like, it's not even manifesting there. They have manifested. Um, they're actually speaking to you like now, um, meaning that this is someone that you know, or it's someone that the soulmate is so close that they literally speak back to you when you're praying for them. So pray, pray for them, not pray for their appearance, but pray for their everything about their experience. Like as if they're already here, because that's what you would already do for them. I'm assuming. So literally any darkness, any disconnection, any of that has already passed because they are here right now. But I'm seeing that whatever it is that you are struggling with internally, whatever it is that you haven't like reconciled with within yourself, whatever it is that you don't like about yourself or whatever it is that you don't like about the situation, become the embodiment of what you would want it to be. Also including you. <sighs> Romantic feelings. It's like, I freaking never stopped loving you. I was always looking for you. You're the one that I'm thinking about all day. It's like, I wouldn't get just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get confused. I, that's what I'm hearing. Your soulmate, your partner saying like, I'm not confused. I wouldn't get confused even kissing someone else or considering someone else. I would never be confused on who my soulmate is because it's a feeling. And when I feel that feeling, it's unlike any other. And that's not something that goes away overnight it can't go away in fact the depth of it alone laughter communicate with your angels that's literally what i'm saying like literally communicate with your angels about your soulmate praying for them praying for them making sure that they're surrounded in love making sure that they're healthy that they're safe that they're supported that they're strong that they're taking care of their bodies that they're excited tell them about what you're doing off also I'm seeing if you've been keeping your head down working, now's the time to get out and to laugh and to play. That's kind of like moving you out of your usual. If you've been in the house locked up or still and stagnant, get moving, go, go out, plan some trips, do some things. Things that literally would make you burst with happiness and joy. Financial healing and time to decide. This card, I'm not going to dive into it a whole lot deeper because I feel like this is a specific message for a specific person. Yeah, it's literally time right now to decide what's up. I feel like this person's like, where are you going? I just heard that. Where are you going? Get back here. You thought you were leaving. You thought I was leaving. I'm right here. I'm in your driveway. With this, I brought food. <laughs> You thought I wasn't interested? Funny, that's the very opposite. I just was taking care of things or I had to evolve or I had to do this and I told you that. Now let's go. Cloudy, the cloudiness, the seven of cups. Time to decide. I think it's also an energetic thing too. I think surrendering is actually you deciding. Yep. Resurrection. So something from the past is definitely re-emerging. Art and science and communion. I just feel like you don't need to have it all figured out. In fact, you're not supposed to be trying to figure it out. The answer itself is in the depth. That's literally what I said. Um, that's how I feel and I'm standing by that. And I feel like you guys are going, to, you guys have come together. It's not a matter of if you are, you are, you are, you are. It's here, it's ready now. Time doesn't exist, it's happening, it's present. You've connected. 
it defies art and science. In fact, art and science are the same. But it's it's more like an expression. It's more um, a feeling. It's more an understanding, a perspective. Yeah. I love that. Okay, one last message. Let's see. This one's coming through. Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. Yeah, be expected. Three, it's literally manifested. If there's anything that's going to block it, it's, which we're not even going to consider that, it's just going to be the fact that you're thinking that you're not deserving and you're you're not seeing things for what they are, especially with the moon card or you're, you're defensive or whatever. That's why you want to surrender. You want to surrender. You want to lift it up. And don't be afraid to kind of get out, you know, and do things. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And at the very bottom of this, we have the lover's card. And guess what? I'm done. I'm done your reading. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That message was powerful and beautiful. And please let me know if you chose the pile number three down in the comments. I have to, I have to know. I have to know. I have to know what you're going through. I have to. I'm invested. Of course I am. I always am. Okay. I love you guys. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.